Artisan Lane. If my memory serves, it's in the northwestern part of town. Yes, there is a plethora of wonderful shops, each with its own rich history and culture. From daily necessities to specialty crafts and antiques, all kinds of shopping can be done there. Um, did something happen there? Well, I've only just heard by word of mouth, but there's been a chain of serial burglaries. Another bur- other? Other burglar? That's not all though, the cul culprits are said to be none other than the Monstrums. Really? What? I don't want to point any fingers, but... It wasn't me! I don't think any of us would do something to draw that much attention. Really? <laughs> really? You have the gall to say that? Uh, um, I mean, it really wasn't me! I'm only here for that free drink I was promised. Only a coward would sneak around like that. If it were me, I'd do it in broad daylight. Of course you would. Several of the artisan lane shops have already fallen victim to these thefts. Most recently was the Ridge Deals. Oh shoot. Antique shop. Really? What's with the names? It's really hard to pronounce. It was broken into just last night. Mr. and Mrs. Ridge. Ridge Rindale? I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. You know them, Krisha? Yes, they're a kind elderly couple who run that lovely antique shop. What? What kind of burglar, cold-hearted burglar would rob elderly people? The Pendleton Company has been doing business with them for many years now. Stealing from an old mom-and-pop shop? Now that's the lowest of the low. Truth! You've, be you've all become icons of sorts recently. There's bound to be those who seek your public image for their own gain. Yeah, copy, co copycat, uh, like crimes or something. I don't care what people think of us. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Anyway, it's not my problem. Talk to me if you need some actual fighting done. No, ha come back, Rito. I need your help. I need your gift to glide and grab me some more loot. At least he heard us out. He'll come around. Oh, I just want to tuck him into bed and chew all his little worries away. Isn't that right, my adorable Krisha? Uh, huh? I think you're asking the wrong person. Regardless, I advise that we sell this incident before it worsens. When you have a moment, could you go to Artisan Lane to investigate, Adol? Can we go there, though? I feel like we have to un unlock that area first. Um, Adol? Do you want to come, Krisha? Is that it? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. I know the couple at the antique shop. I thought I might see if they were okay. And, well, I can help you dispel the barrier, too. Well, that settles that. Wouldn't it be nice if all the monsters were this willing to work together? Yes, I have no doubt you two will succeed. Now where's Raging Bull? Where's you find all of this? Agreed, though there's still much to do. Where is she? Where's my number one suspect? The doll's search. Oh, so we finally get to see Doll again. I thought it would be Yufa. New quests available on the bulletin board! More requests! Hey Adol, you free right now? Someone's new, someone new's joined the crew and they want to have a word with you. Why don't you say hi before heading out? Oh? Who joined? Yeah, but first, let me just check this. Uh, Twilight Shards. Use the Lantern of the lantern of Crossing to exchange Twilight Shards for items and materials. XX Nost Gauge will be converted into shards at the end of each story segment. Fix, uh, fill the Nox gauge by defeating Lemmy's and completing quest. Okay. What do we have? Do you have anything useful? I really... I... Yeah. We could actually get these, but... It's too early in the game to actually... Do so. So I'm gonna pass. Oh, um, I have nothing else better to do, so I thought I'd polish this lantern. You know, I've never had a chance to visit Artisan Lane before. I never had much experience fighting, so I'm happy to have all of you to help me. Maybe if you dispel all the barriers, I'll get to see even more new places. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sappy on you. Anyway, the robberies are more important for the time being. So how do you meet the, uh... Elderly couple? Adel, what can I do for... Ah, did you receive my message? What message? I intend for you to learn of this. But recently I've heard word of an innocent detainee held captive in the prison. I was going to request this of Dogi and the others, but it's quite a momentous task. I realized it would take the monstrums and your powers for this to be successful. Would you consider my proposal? Only if you're able to, of course. Wait, didn't we already have this discussion? Thank you truly, Adol. If the information I have is accurate, then this, is, this individual is not your average citizen. To start, she's merely a young girl. A little girl in prison? I can't believe it myself. It is unjust to say the least. My information places her cell on the top floor of the central wing. Uh, Where did you get that information, Parks? You monsters have your tricks and I have mine too. We're all outlaws, remember? The central wing is one of the most secure sectors due to the warden's office being there. It would be best to prepare by selecting an optimal infiltration plan before entering. Okay. Um, patrol routes. Good thinking, Al. That is precisely what you need to reach the central wing. Also, keep in mind that the comprehensive layout of the prison is a well-kept secret. Even the guards are kept in ignorance of the sectors outside their own. It could be a precaution to discourage bribing of guards. Hmm. I just remember, there is a black market dealer who operates in the central- Yeah, we already met this black market dealer. I hear he possesses very rare items that you can acquire- you can't acquire through normal means. There's a sliver of chance that he might have information about the prison's layout. Even if it doesn't, he might have clues as to where he could find such information. Christian and I will look for him. Brilliant, that girl has connections that are indispensable at times like these. This is a difficult yet crucial task, Adol. Okay. Prison rescue accepted. Very well then. Um, anything for me, Dogi? Okay, so no new Grimald Nox battles. Uh, Lux Cannon. Emits a ball of light that stuns all enemies. The Lux Cannon will emit flares of light when attacked. You must wait a set cooldown between each flare. Enhancing decreases this cooldown. So this is the gong. From Lacrimosa of Donna. Let's, get to prep it. let's, let's do build this. this. Okay, can't upgrade it anymore. Let's do this. Okay, that's good enough. Do you have anything to say, Dogi? This is where we store medicinal supplies and necessities. We're going through them like candy. Goes to show how many new friends we've been taking in. Having a hideout of this size was really worth the wait. Just have to keep appearances up and get the other monsters to cooperate. True. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna have some free time for once after this. If I do, I could lend a hand with the investigation at Artisan Lane. Okay, thank you, Dogi. Where else? Can we enhance? Okay, let's do that. Time to show off my skills. Time to show off my skills. Oh. We <laughs> ran out of iron ore. Let me know if you need anything else. I'm ready and raring to go. Okay, we can now craft this. Uh, craft this. I mean, so let's craft it. Ta -da! Oh, all done? Come back yes. anytime. Oh, yeah. wait. Do you have something Adel. new to say? Hey there, Adol. I've got your monster weapons all fixed up and ready for action. Oh, by the way, there's a little something I noticed while I was working. See, Hawk's weapons were actually already in perfect condition. He'd have to be maintaining them just about every day for that to be the case. But how to say that? It's hard to picture Credo ever being that responsible. Come back anytime. True. Hey, so... Do you have anything new to say? I thought it'd be a good idea to practice my reading with one of Park's books, but the words were so hard I couldn't even get past the first sentence. Oh, I feel for you, Arche. Now I'm all sleepy. I gotta think of some other way to kill time. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, you can't help at the bar because you're too young. Wait, let's equip. Oh, we can't. Oh, wait. We don't really need the idol on heal just yet. We haven't really been having a hard time. 
with the enemies. You've got a recipe book. Just give me the word and I'll have it crack. The number of dishes available at the dandelion has increased. You just take your time. So let's bon cook this. Anything else I can get you? Give the straw hat to increase Yufa's affection. You give Yufa the straw hat as a present. What? Wow. Why the straw hat? A straw hat? What's the occasion? Um, it's for all your hard work at the dandelion. But I'm still new at being a waitress. As a matter of fact, I try to get some work in the fields after I go home each day. I, we I wear a straw hat just like this one, but I tore it the other day. You have no idea how hot it was working in the sun without a hat. You're a lifesaver. I didn't really know that you were working in the fields. But I did come across two kids, you know, in the agricultural district. And they were talking about you, Yufa, and something about um, the arena, I think? About them needing to ask your per permission first? I can't wait to show my siblings. <laughs> Thank you, Adol. I'll take good care of it. How about I serve you a drink on the house? It's the least I could do. Shantae's been teaching me to bartend, so I'm actually starting to pick it up. Okay. Your affinity with Yufa has increased. Yufa's support skill battle cry has reached level 2. Wait, if Yufa has... I still think that Yufa is raging bull, but how could she have a support skill? Okay, our um, bathhouse debauchery. Our beloved bathhouse is at risk of being sullied by rumors of perverse individuals amidst its patrons. This is a bastion of recreation and relaxation. Preserving its integrity is of uh, utmost importance. Refer to the bulletin board near the public baths in the main square for further details. I eagerly await the assistance of today's valiant youth. Uh, okay. We've already heard about this. Um, wanted Maritudos, Maritudos. An army of Maritudos have appeared in the depths of Cloaca Maxima. We would be remiss to leave them as they are, thus I ask that you assist me by subduing them. Report to me once you've found success in your efforts. I shall be waiting at the ruined belfry in the central district. I don't think I've reached that ruined belfry just yet. Okay. Ooh, your 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 silhouette, right? Ah, Adel, perfect timing. There's someone I want you to meet. This is my employer, the man I owe my life to, Professor Valen. Indeed, I am an anthropologist. A pleasure, I should think. Silhouette here tells me she wishes to work here to aid the monsters. Oh my goodness. Isn't that supposed to be a secret? But I do not see said monsters anywhere. I'd hope to shadow them this week and observe them for my research. And perhaps I could extract a flesh... flesh sample! <gasps> hmm, that may be a tad excessive, you think? Um, Professor? If only I could just get my hands on the secrets of the monstrums. Then I could devise a way to become a monster myself. With that power, I could observe the realm of the evil spirits with my own eyes. What a thrilling notion! Oh dear, Professor. I'm sorry, Adel. I didn't mean to cause more trouble for you all. I initially thought Professor Valen could be helpful to you. But seeing him, uh, but seeing how he is now, for your sake, we'd better not tell him about the monstrums. You think? We shouldn't be telling anyone about this. Ah, and there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. I spoke to Shantae about this too. I'm going to be the Dandelion's official errand runner. This includes any supplies the bar needs too. If you ever think of anything you need, I'll take care of it for you. Uh, are you sure about this? You're a fugitive. That's true, but I think I'll be okay. Wow, where, where's, where does that confidence come from? Besides, I don't think anybody remembers who I was or what I was a, or that I was a prisoner anyway. Even Park said it was unlikely that I'd be imprisoned again. I don't know, maybe I'm just naive. I don't know, but didn't you get imprisoned because they thought you were suspicious because of your mask? And you're still wearing the mask, the mask, so But I understand the cause for concern. It's risky to be lingering in public for too long. I'll only go to the shops where I need to go, and I'll come straight back. I'll do my very best to keep out of sight. Just let me know what you need and I'll get it. 
Oh, it, it would be also helpful if you tell me about any new shops you find. Okay, Silhouette's errand runs. Silhouette the Masked Maid can shop at any store in town you've been to during your journey. Speak to Silhouette to inform her of any newly discovered shops. Relaying shops to Silhouette will expand the range of items she can purchase for you. Errands uh, cannot be run for rare or crafted items. Okay. Let's report. We've... We now have access to Silhouette's errand service. We've... I think we've unlocked quite a bit of the shops. So let's talk. Uh, talk. Maybe best not to talk about the ones I remember. Yeah. What would you like me to do? Huh. I have a claim, or so. Night Sa Saber, I guess, is the next. Uh, sword. You know what? Let's up upgrade our equip our defense at least. As you wish. It's a perfect fit. As you wish. Well, thank you very much. Anything else you'd like to stay safe out there? Okay. Why is there a question mark here? I had thought I would meet monsters yet, but that's water under the bridge. Silhouette has informed me that you have been exploring the city of Balduk. You must have been witness to the instances of graffiti around the city. They did stand out to me. Interesting, it seems you have an eye for cultural significance? Cultural significance to graffitis? Just as I do. As I stated in my introduction, I am an anthropologist. Put simply, I study all manner of human be behavior and culture. The bulk of my research lies in the history of mankind, but I also study the contemporary. Those graffiti are the quintessence of modern thought and emotion. They're prime research material for, the anthropo for an anthropologist like myself. Uh, you want me to look for them? How astute of you, my boy. If you spot any graffiti in the city, do report your findings to me. Once you find a certain number of them, I will compensate you accordingly. We'll, well, we find we found a number of them already. Of course, the choice is yours. I can only hope you'll oblige me. Reporting graffiti. Report the graffiti you discover around town to Valen at the Dandelion. Valen, an anthropologist, is researching the graffiti found throughout the historical city of Balduk. Graffiti can be found all throughout town. Some appear to be special. Special how? You'll have to read them to find out. I guess some of them do call out monsters. Some of them give a uh, stat boost. And then there are those interesting sort of poems that I feel like some of them also give out hints as to you know, th the mysteries behind Balduk. You can earn rewards by investigating graffiti and reporting your finds. Fall it. Report Michael, graffiti. Tell me what you know. All right. Seems like you're making good headway. We're getting a reward. You've discovered graffiti in 21 locations. You found more than 11. These results are satisfactory. Swift Grimoire. That's it. I thought it, I'd get at least two rewards. There are assuredly more works of graffiti around the city I've yet to study. I would be in great debt to you if you found them all. Like, I wish Hawk would... ...come with us? Huh, where's Shantae? Oh. This is Doctor. Well, hello, hello there. It's lovely to see you again. You're an employee here, aren't you? Hehe, <laughs> employee. You should have told me sooner. You know, this bar has just the most charming ambience. It had me smitten at first sight. Places like this make me feel right at home, so plan on seeing a lot of me around. Oh, she's gonna find out if she doesn't already. Uh, am I seeing things or was, or was something odd about the maid who's... Waited on me just now. Why is she wearing a mask that anyhow? It's suspicious with the capital S if you ask me. See? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, silhouette. Okay. I really love the music. I love the music. It's like, um... What do you call this? A, a music box. Oh. Oh! Oh! We can still use Hawk's gift even though we... Even though he's not in our party? Ooh, that's interesting. But yeah, we have... Several... Um... 
new markers here. Oh yeah, I haven't unlocked this yet. So I think... I can't get this yet. I'm gonna go and complete this. This, all of this. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hope everything goes okay. Actually, we'll be doing the request first. Oh yeah, the black market dealer is the request. What, you need something from me? We've got yeah. a request for you. Do you now? You ask Maxime as discreetly as you can for intel about the prison's infrastructure. Infrastructure? And for Balduk prison, no less. I guess that's asking for too much after all, isn't it? Actually, it's not. Really? Cuff up just 500 gold for that information? That's pretty- that's a pretty important information. Really? That's surprisingly cheap, actually. I've had my eye on that prison for a while now, but there's one more condition before we close the deal. There are these flyers someone's been posting all over town lately. I want you to get- uh, I want you to get me their newest one. Hasn't even made its way around yet. What kind of flyers are they? One's full of gossip and hearsay, through truths mixed with falsehoods. They're tabloids, simply put. Either way, they're still in demand. Think of it as a necessary expense for gathering intel. Bulletin boards around town are probably your best bet for getting your hands on one. We'll get it yeah. for you. You know where to find me once you do payment, upfront, or no deal. I think we got the money. We didn't really buy all that much. So... Okay. What is this? Oh, there you are. Shantae. Well, if it is my favorite dar little darlings working hard, I take it. Hi, Shantae. Oh, and you too, Mr. Roscoff. Mr. Roscoff? Oh, is this is your first time meeting, isn't it, Adel, my dear? Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Roscoff. He's the owner here at Le Bistro Blanc. Hello there. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Mr. Roscoff here is a business neighbor of Pendleton's. We often have him cater for us. Are you already familiar with him too, Shantae? Oh, I've known him for quite a while. He and I are fellow culinary artists are after all. We get together for a little advice sessions every now and then, just like this. Is that really what you're doing? An advice session? Is something the matter, Mr. Roscoff? Well, yes. As it so happens, I was thinking of expanding our menu in the near future. Namely, by bringing back a local specialty from the previous owner's management. Unfortunately, we're having a rather tough... Uh, rough time figuring out where to start. A local specialty? Now that you mention it, I think I remember eating a dish when I was little. I assumed ownership here upon introduction by a local eatery after the war eight years ago. As such, I've never heard the, the dish myself, but the townsfolk consider it quite a delicacy. Sadly, however, all but mere fragments of the recipe have been lost to the ravages of war. And the previous owner took any remaining clues with him when he passed a few years back. As much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss with. I'm a loss with this. If only we knew what ingredients were used, when then we might be able to recreate it. Perhaps it would be more constructive to think of a new menu item entirely. Mr. Roscoff, could you re could really use our help? What do you think? Well, how how exactly can we help though? But yeah, you're. Your request, you know, a side quest, and I need to complete all the side quests. Yeah. So we'll lend a hand. Well, aren't you a sweetheart? I couldn't ask for anything more. Are you sure it's not any trouble? I've gotta yes. try that dish myself. Oh, well, now I see. Trying to get yourself a lo little local flavor, aren't you, winky winky smiley face? Naturally, I'd be willing to compensate your efforts with a good meal. It's the least I can do in return for your assistance. It's a deal then. As for where we can start, there have to be people around who remember the dish to some extent. If you find them and ask, we might be able to figure out what the ingredients are. Oh, now there's an idea! I can say the same uh, with some certainty that the dish incorporates bo both seafood and vegetables. Perhaps you could ask someone with a great deal of knowledge about either? That would make our best bets the main square market and the agricultural district. Right, and even though I can only vaguely, vaguely recall that dish myself, it does mean there's a chance that Carla remembers it too, more than I do at least. 
Let's start asking around, Adol. So maybe we should ask, like, Carla first. Oh, and their father is here. Oh, it's you all. <laughs> is something the matter? Well, actually, there's something we wanted to ask you, Carla. You asked Carla if she knows anything about the bistro's long-lost specialty. I see, so you're planning to recreate that dish, then? We hope so, anyway. We were thinking you might remember it better than I can. Well, I was pretty young at the time myself, so I only have the vaguest recollection. But I do remember one thing, the broth. It was warm, soothing, like an herbal, so herbal soup. Herbal soup, huh? It was the most delicious part, rich with all sorts of simmered spices and fish. You were so small back then, but you'd always make room to ask for extra helpings of soup. Did I really? It sounds familiar. Call it medicinal does sound a little unappetizing, but if even us kids liked it, one sip of that soup could draw in just about anyone, no matter what their taste. You know, I think I actually have the recipe written down in my room- Really? That was quick. Wait, you do? Well, you had this awful cold a long time ago, so I asked the owner how to make it, and he just gave you the recipe just like that? Ah, the memories. He was such a kind old man and wonderful with kids as at that. Oh yeah, I uh, remember that too, definitely. No, you don't. It shouldn't take long to dig it up. Do you mind waiting for a bit? No, not at all. Thanks, Carla. Specialty broth. Oh, just the recipe just for the broth. Ah, oh, we still have to find the other fragments of it. Okay, so this here is another request. This. this is the bathhouse one. Oh, could it be? Have you come forth to defend our fair city's greatest bastion of rest and repose? Something like that. You must be Gindio then, right? You mentioned something about a um, perverse individual at the baths? That's exactly right. I've been coming to these baths ever since the very day they were built, you see. Where else can one sweat off the day's work, chatting up strangers in a glorious buff? Such a sanctuary as this must be protected from those who would debase it at any cost. Can I count on you youngsters to lend me your aid? Tell us everything yes. you know, sir. Right, it must be pretty major if it has you this upset. Who exactly is this perverse individual, anyway? Why none other than the Peeping Tom, of course. Some lecherous degenerate has been leering at the poor defenseless maiden, maidens in our baths. Consequent, consequent, but consequently, the number of women willing to visit started to plummet. That's terrible. People should feel comfortable relaxing in there. That's exactly what I'm saying. A situation like this is grave beyond grave. But the staff is having tr uh, trouble addressing the matter. I'd planned to pitch in myself, but I figured the, mo uh, the most these old bones could do is find someone younger instead. So... is this sa staff sanctioned? Hmm, of course it is. They want this settled as much as me, and might I add, we are very well acquainted. Now then, I'd like for you to conduct a- I bet it isn't really sanctioned. Conduct a little investigation of sorts. The right hand building houses the bats, separated between male and female. Every window was made from frosted glass to prevent such calamities as this. But that doesn't mean there can't be a hole or opening. Um, somewhere. Your task is to find that very opening. It's cleaning hours now, so you don't fear inadvertently sneaking any vulgar glances. Okay, got it. All we have to do is look for any spots a peeping Tom might use. I knew you young ones would be would be up to the task. I'd be counting on you. I'll be counting on you. So yeah, we officially accepted the request. Might as well search. Wait, the bathhouse is right here. Wow, so many like markers. Hmm, the lattice on this window seems kind of loose. Let me take a closer look. Did we find it? 
Krusha examines the window to the woman's bath for you. The window's lattice appears to be loose. Removing it reveals a small peephole. Ooh. Oh no, this is awful! You can see everything right through here. Thank goodness they're only cleaning right now. But anyways, we found it. You can't see this uh, spot from the cur courtyard at all. It's the perfect place to sneak a peek. Um, it's the whole man-made though. Well, now that you mention it, it does look more like it formed out of wear and tear rather rather than on purpose. But if that's the case, then what? Oh, time to swap ships already. Yeah, I'll take it from here. By the way, you hear the new orders from the warden yet? About the new patrol route, right? Could you run it by me again? That scared me. This spot is right behind a garrison post. It's a blind spot for sure, but still close enough to hear the soldiers. No way someone would try to peek in from here of all places. Anyway, let's get out of here before someone catches us. I thought they were gonna, like, find out about... Um... The patrol routes. And that would, you know, help them in whatever Adol and the others are trying to do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is the last marked location. That should be just about every stop, uh, spot we need to check. We did actually... Uh, end up finding somewhat of a peephole. Let's report it back to... What if Gindio is actually the peeping Tom and he's just trying to... find information where he can actually do some peeping. How did it come to this? <laughs> oh, there you are. I take it you've completed your investigation. Yes, well, about that... You tell Grindio about the blind spot and peephole you discovered. Oh, ho, I see. So that's where it was. Marvelous looting there, young'uns. You've done these bats a great service. Something still seems off. Eh? And what that might what might that be? Well, it doesn't really make sense for a peeping Tom to be using that spot. There was no sign of that. There were no signs that the hole we found had ever been used. Plus, it's so close to the garrison post, you can even hear them talk to each other. Oh ho, you can now, can you? Well, let's not get too caught up in- Yo, you're a faker, aren't you? A job well done is a job well done. Here, a token of my appreciation. Blinding bangle received. Uh, um, thanks? You can just leave the rest to me. I'll bear the burden of informing the staff and making sure they establish a proper- Ah, there he is! And you are... Just passing through, that's all. But I do have business with this fellow over here. You are him, aren't you? The one who's uh, who got thrown out for trying to peep into the woman's bats over and over. I knew it. Wait. What? What's going on here exactly? Oh, come now. Clearly the boy here has things all mixed up. I'm simply trying to defend this refuge of recreation for the sake of the people. More like you were trying to find the perfect people. I've looked into it and these people are far from the very first you've asked to investigate. By the way, I'd advise against playing dumb. See, I've already reported you. There he is! So you're the dirty old peeper! Are you gonna run? Well now, isn't this a bit of a pickle? I'll be seeing you youngsters some other time then. I thought we were gonna run after him. He's fast. Let's, let me get this straight. We've been acting as accomplices for a peeping Tom this whole time? Thanks for saving us. If you say so, it's not as though I came to help you in particular. I visit the bats myself, now and again. There aren't many places I can relax, so it's in my interest to drive out trouble. I don't have a clue who you guys are, but you seem a little too naive for your own good. I can't believe Adol fell for that. I'll just be on my way, try to be a bit more mindful from now on. We've been told. He's probably right. Our carelessness almost cost us our reputation as monsters there. Balduk is a big city after all. It's got all sorts of people, both good and bad. It was a learning experience. Yeah, thinking of it that way makes me feel a little better. Anyway, we should go tell the staff about the peephole. True. 
They should fix it before, you know, the old man returns, do something. Gracious me, I really wish they'd take it easy on these old bones. I suppose I'll just have to go undercover. Uh, I'll, I'll just have to go undercover for a spell again. Ha, you say that like you're already in the clear. <laughs> Had a feeling you'd weasel your way out, old timer. You get us our intel? Ah yes, I managed to get wind, catch wind, uh, catch wind of a blind spot f uh, from the garrison's post. If I may ask, what exactly do you... You hear that, boys? Another piece of set for our master plan. Better make sure we're ready for when the boss comes back. What's going on? S sakes alive, just what could they be up to? Yeah, what? It's not <sighs> about peeping, well. is it? It's about the garrison, I feel like. Something's about to go down. Papa, what do you think about fishing out by the river mouth? At this time of year, we might be able to catch the fish on their way from Asteria. That's, he's not exactly who we were supposed to talk to. It should be Philippe. Hmm? You, sh you have some business with me? A fisherman could, would probably know, right? Um, we were just wondering something. You asked whether Philippe knows anything about the bistro's specialty from years ago. You mean Le Bistro Blanc, right? I know the dish you're asking for. Really, what was it called? Can't exactly- Oh my god, recall. It blew my low expectations of commoner food straight out the damn water. The juiciest whitefish, the firmest clams, the tenderest sh shrimp. That dish had it all. I always loved fish. Now my days are spent reeking of it. Fate's a cruel one, I tell ya. I'm sorry to hear that. Still, it's whetting my appetite just hearing about it. A dish with that much seafood in it must have been worth every last bite. It was especially, it was especially considering how easy fresh fish comes by, thanks to this canal, and that's not even counting imports. There's a reason Valduk has so many fi uh, seafood dishes. Our custom of eating fish on the hieroglyphs fate, uh, hieroglyph fate's day of fasting doesn't hurt either. Ah, this really brings me back. What I wouldn't give to have another taste. Tell them you're making. Tell him you're making. You guys are trying to recreate the uh, recipe. It really was a Baldukian specialty through and through. Could we maybe ask you to tell us more about the specific seafood used in that dish? Hmm. Well, let me think. If memory serves, the particular white fish they used was. Okay, we got the info. Let's book it to. The agricultural uh, agriculture district now for the last piece of the puzzle. <laughs> we did it. Okay, so I think this is for the intel for the uh, prison. <laughs> There's a woman posting a flyer on the bulletin board. Huh? You guys need something? Oh, I get it. Looking to get a first look at my new scoop, are you? Here you are, loyal readers. Marie thrusts a flyer at you. Okay, we got the tabloid. Special issue. Monsters to blame for serial thefts. When will they strike the prison next? Good question. Those monsters really are a goldmine of intrigue, aren't they? See, I've made it my mission in life to bring truths like this to the eyes of the people. Keen-eyed individuals like myself are a rare breed. It's up to us to enlighten the masses. <laughs> really? But despite all my hard work, the soldiers and citizens keep brushing it off as gossip. Unbelievable, right? I mean, huh? Speak of the devils. Always on me with the whole stop posting on private property bit. I'd better duck, duck out while I can. See you next time, loyal readers. Wow. This must be the flyer. We'll need to remember to have the gold ready too. Yeah. But first, we have to finish, you know, do some business here in the agricultural district. Oh, welcome, welcome. Here to buy some fresh produce. We sell the crops wholesale to stores all around. You won't find them juicier than this. Maybe she would know. Let's ask her, uh, let's ask after her pitch dies down. You ask whether Susie knows anything about the bistro specialty from years ago. Oh, you mean Le Bistobla? I was actually the old owner's routine supplier at the time. Really? Then in that case? Yes, I do have an idea what sort of vegetables went into that dish. I can distinctly remember artichokes sticking out among the bunch, though. 
Artichokes? You mean those edible fizzle buds, right? They're pretty common, dis commonly distributed throughout Lee, last I remember. Well, I can't speak for anywhere else, but we do not we do eat them quite a lot here. They've got just the faintest tinge of sweetness, perfect for steaming. And they're plenty nutritious to boot. The previous owner practically sang their praises. Wow, I can see why. If you don't mind though, could you tell us about the other vegetables used in that dish? Oh, of course. Now let me see. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Specialty veggies, veggie info acquired. You've learned all you can about the ingredients for the specialty dish. You should report back to the bistro in the central district. So yeah, let's head on back. Alright, here's your recipe. Oh, you're back. Do those beaming little faces of yours mean what I think they mean? Yes, oh well, I hope so, anyway. You report the information you gathered about the dish in dishes ingredients to Roscoff. Whitefish, clam, shrimp, artichoke, and other vegetables all in a hearty broth. Now that sounds like a local specialty if I've ever heard one. All that's left is to recreate it, Shante. I don't suppose you'd like to help me. Oh, you know it, honey. <laughs> Roscoff and Shante then made their way into the kitchen. Before long, an aromatic scent wafted out, and a single dish soon followed. Kinda getting hungry, actually. <laughs> I'm honestly getting hungry. And here we have it, Baldukian style what? How do you pronounce that? Bula base? Bula bay? I don't know. How do you pronounce that, guys? Courtesy of Le Bistro Blanc. Wow, it looks delicious. So it was that all along. That's right, just one look at those ingredients and it came right to me. A pescatarian paradise like this is a balanced diet all on its own. It's got such a beautiful color too. Oh my gosh, I really suck at reading these. Bule bui bui itself is a fairly common dish here in Glia. The recipe varies quite a bit between different households and establishments, but this particular one satisfies satisfies both body and soul. A perfect meld of comfort and nourishment. It is without a doubt a dish conceived from the previous owner's utmost compassion and care. It'll be a hit with the customers, you can be sure of that. Indeed, I can't express enough how happy I am to have revived this dish. Now all will have the chance to enjoy it, whether for the first time ever or in forever. You have my sincerest thanks, we couldn't have done this without you. Will we be getting the recipe as well? Oh, not at all, I'm just glad our info ended up helping in the end. Well, that makes two of us, darling. Now then, what say we get that reward of yours in you before it gets cold? Everyone was then treated to the bulbule they had helped to make. The rich, nutritious meal refreshed and revitalized them both inside and out. After walking Chante back to the dandelion, they resumed their activities once again. Got it. Okay, we got the recipe. Great. Now, we go back to the prison rescue um, request. Because that is another short request, unlike a Perlis' request about hunting those monsters in Cloaca Maxima. Those, th that request can actually wait, but this one cannot. Okay. Uh, information on the prison. Yes, request intel on the prison. You hand over the flyer and 500 gold, officially striking a deal with Maxim. Payment received. I accept your request. So how exactly are you going to get the info? He already has it? Oh, that's cool. An owl. Got a job for you, Arthur. What a smart bird. Much smarter than foolish humans, to be sure. You wanted info on the prison's infrastructure, in other words, its layout and security. Whether I can procure that intel is up to our man on the inside. Only time will tell. Okay. What happens next?
Here it is, the chance you've been waiting for. A deal too sweet, sweet to resist. All you gotta do is take on this job. The client's looking for intel on the prison's layout and patrols. Are you kidding me? Adol is gonna be the one helping Adol out? What? Who's this information for? Hey, hey, no questions. That's the first rule of getting ahead in this world. I don't know much about any sectors I don't oversee, but I wager a master escape artist like you might be able to fill in the blanks. You've got nothing but time, eh, redhead? Go for it. We'll make a mint, you and me. Wow. This is just so mind-blowing. You have a feeling that you're getting mixed up in something else here. Still, this may be a prime opportunity to gather intel on the prison. I can't believe this. This is just... Wow, is all I really can say. So we have to find... I think that girl being held captive? Wait, can we not... Equip anything on this Adol? Not even skills? Wait, there's something... nothing. We got nothing out of that. Okay. What is this? This seems to be a list of those previously imprisoned. The name Adol is nowhere to be seen, however. The last entry has been blacked out. Could this one be yours? That's interesting. So they're trying to keep the fact that Adol has been imprisoned a secret, but why? Also, what is with this getup? The stairs continue to descend from here. You may be able to find a way out of the sour if you keep heading down. Huh. Complex layout, small unopenable rooms, the underground sector is full of mysteries. Even for us guards, this prison is mystifying beyond all reason. Again, why? Am I- did I- I didn't miss anything, did I? Jeez, this- game really is piling up the mysteries. This seems to be some sort of mechanism to open the gates. Flip the lever! Why are there no guards? Why is no one guarding? What is up with this prison? It seems you've exited the tower entirely. You should still have plenty of time to investigate ahead for now. Okay, if you say so, Adol. This lever has rusted considerably. It doesn't seem like it would budge. Interesting. Can't jump over there. Um, can't really step on the. Where the heck? Which part of town is this? Okay, so let's study our surroundings. There's a mountain over there. Okay, so if that's the mountain, find a tower that's close to a mountain. When we go back to the other adult, let's do that. Let's try to find this tower. This tower has got me curious. Okay, I, it's gotten me curious, and I bet it has gotten all of you curious as well, lovely viewers. Okay, is there anything up here? Nothing. Locked? Firmly shut is another way of saying locked. Among the jumble of scrolls is one that looks like a map of some sort. Okay. 
It's a rough floor plan of the prison. This will surely come in handy when making your way around the facility. Okay. It's just a repeat of the... Um... Oh shoot. Hide, Adol. That was a peculiar sound. A repeat of the tutorials we've already encountered before. It seems to be coming from that room. Okay, what's in this room? What are you? Before I check on you, I'm gonna check on the sparkly spots. You search the shelves for anything of use. Red cheese! We found a book about Balduk Prison. Balduk Prison is primarily divided between its north, south, east, and west wings. Situated between them is a central wing, which serves as a hub connecting uh, to each of its subordinate structures. Additionally, the north wing, the highest among the five, boasts a watchtower that soars above the rest of the facility. It goes without saying that this particular tower is essentially impregnable. Is that where we are? We're at the north tower then. Okay, what are you? You have a sword. There's something stuck in the pot. You decided to help it out. Have at you. Oh my god, it's so cute. Curses, I've been had. But you'll need more than the fates on your side if you hope to catch the likes of me. Oh my god, this thing is so cute. Now on guard, lest you plan to let me run away screaming, in which case, be my guest. <laughs> so cute. You've seen creatures like this one before. It's a type of sacred beast known as Ru a Rue. They look so different now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they, the Rue looks like they had massive makeover. You managed to understand them before, but this one seems capable of speaking human. What? Do I have something on my snout? Wait, hold on a tick here. You're... Who are you? Hi there, I'm just an inmate. Just an inmate, my big fluffy tail. It'd take more than just an inmate to bust out of his cell with nary an issue. Not to mention, you don't even seem at all phased to see me speaking the tongue of man. I've got many a query for you, Sirah. But for starters, what are you doing here? You explained that you'd taken a job from one of the guards in order to gather intel to help you escape from the prison. Oh my god, for real? You've already managed to win over the guards? Tilly Valley, you're a really bully rook, if I ever seen one. I'm just a traveler with a heart of gold. Uh, in all honesty, that's what people who've met Adol tell him. Uh, tell yeah, tell him what the, he is. He's a, a he's an adventurer or a traveler with a heart of gold because he just couldn't keep himself from helping other people. You know, from stick from sticking up uh, for the lesser people or the smaller people. Only the most dubious lot feel the need to make a point of how trusty they are. Hmm. Sure, why not? You look like fun, Rusty. What? That's your voice. That's even cuter. Ways, right ways, sideways. It's all a jumble in here, huh? You sound but young. Have no fear, for I, the exalted Xavier, am here. Xavier, is that how pronounced? I always thought that, that was pronounced Savior. <laughs> Xavier, okay. You'll find no call you'll find no canier guide than yours truly when it comes to traversing this prison. I know all sorts of shortcuts and hidey holes you humans never could. I'd wager I can help you with that guard's behest or what have you. Um, how about a way out of here? I lack that I could, but I don't know any of and I don't know of any gateways a human could use, but not. But that's not to say I could help you find one. We just have. We'll just take it a paw at a time. You give your thanks and briefly introduce yourself. Hmm, Adol the adventurer, huh? A peculiar title for a peculiar fellow. 
I don't think you have any right to call me peculiar, Xavier. Well, either way, here's to our brand new partnership, Adel. After your introductions, you once again told Xavier about your current objective. Doing so seemed to give Xavier a good idea about where to take you. After guiding you through a hidden passageway, you two finally emerged... Dot dot dot... Where? This area seems less like a prison and more like an underground ruin of some sort. You're not too confident in the weapon you bought, but if what Sa Xavier says is true, the intel you're seeking is somewhere up ahead. Hey, fi on B, Rusty, my stubby little legs can't catch up that fast. The place I wanted to show you is right down this way. Let's be off. Xavier joined the group. This sector's pretty old. Wait, is it gonna fight? Oh no, it's there just... probably still some active traps around. Traps? So be careful. That looks like a trap. Yeah, definitely a trap. Well, the trap seems to be easy to detect. At least that one was. <laughs> so we gotta be careful. We might accidentally roll into a trap, you know, without meaning to, like when we're dodging. Oh my goodness! See, like, like that. Inconceivable. What? What? How did that happen? That was really sneaky. That's a sneaky, sneaky trap. Oh my goodness. Remember to jump? Here. There you go. You really should be careful. And that was instant game over too. I thought we'll just get damaged. Frick! I wonder... I'm not sure how we jump. Okay, there we go. But that was a sneaky, sneaky trap because... It looks so similar to the other lever, but that other one didn't have a trap. So I assume that the second. It's gonna be trouble if it sees ya. I know. Okay. How about we make use of that pendulum blade up there? What pendulum blade? Okay. This one? Oh, freak! Okay. Hit it. Not half bad. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was you terrible. Can we turn this off again? Okay, there we go. Oh, I can't reach that. I don't even have double jump. Where? Oh. How do we... Okay, never mind. Let's go here first. Be careful of the traps. Be careful of the traps. Now we have to jump our way back. Okay. Other side. Making sure that I don't miss any enemies. 
because, you know, experience points. We need them. Like, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be facing some boss battles even as Prisoner Adol. Okay, what's... Huh. I can see a button right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have to time it so that enemy gets shot. Okay. Okay, right. Is it following us? Oh my god, it's it's still There's no two of them! Oh my gosh, something's gonna come out of that little lot over there. See? Okay, I can't take a left. Le left? Why? Uh oh, there's oh I see. Thank you, Xavier! Where? Don't scream at me like that! Oh, where are we now? There's something there, but I can't reach it. Is this where the monsters are gonna come from? Examine. A library of some sort? Bingo, this is it! Documents are littered all across the room. It appears to be some kind of archive. The information you're looking for can likely be found here. Well, don't just stand there, Rusty. Pick up a book and get to reading. No need to be so bossy. Eh? Okay, let's read everything. You found a report of some kind. We too are deeply troubled by this. However, we have no evidence to consider it anything more than a missing person's case. What? Okay, Savia. Is it normal for provision repositories? Hmm, you people sure have it good this these days. Psst, Rusty, wanna know how many dried apples there are in the city warehouse? How many? We found a looks like the expense log of the prison's construction projects. The sectors allocated to us, the hieroglyph knights, are in dilapidated conditions. Really? Okay, examine. This document was signed by the prison warden. The garrison shall continue working in tandem with the hieroglyph knights to ensure security in the courtyard. Why the courtyard in particular? Is there something there? Okay, anything, nothing else. This part of the prison appears to be precisely as the map described. Even the gu uh, guard's patrol schedule was explicated. Someone's coming, hide! Overseeing the prison side by side with the Romans? That ain't easy. Yeah, Chatelard is strong enough to himself to... What? To what? Oh, uh, sorry, I must have been imagining things. Why? What did you see? Did you see us trying to scurry off and hide? Well, well, this is really something, even if it's just the East Wing. The layouts here include parts of the lower levels even us guards don't know about. And on top of that, it's got the patrols mapped out too, even for the knights. I feel like there's going to be a civil war between the garrison members and the knights at some point in this game's story. I get- I'm just guessing, again. You're not fixing to use this thing to help you escape, are you, redhead? Uh, the thought crossed my mind. Let's be honest. You're a devious little rat, rat aren't you? But you have a hard time getting around even with knowledge of the patro patrol routes. Fact is, this place is so secure it'll practically make your head spin. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here's your cut. Marie Sabloid received. 
Huh. Interesting. We got the tabloid and it mentions the monstrums. So maybe it includes also the posters, the wanted posters for the monstrum. So maybe Adol will see his look-alike, you know, the other Adol. Um, maybe even Adol's actual wanted poster. You know, the Crimson King's want wanted poster as well, or, or a picture of the Crimson King. We got a few good laughs in passing it around. Entertaining stuff, really. I don't need it anymore, so go on ahead. It's all yours. It's, uh, authenticity is uncertain, but the info it holds about the outside is no doubt valuable. You decide to give it a read later on. Later on? Why later? Thanks to you, my little side gig is coming along nicely. I'll pass along any other jobs I get that might fit your fancy. Look forward to it. Ho oh, there, I see you made it back in one piece. Oh, it's Savior. I mean, Sav Sa Savier. Well, how do you pronounce it again? Sa Savier? That was one merry little jaunt we just had, wasn't it? With you here, this prison won't nearly be uh, won't be nearly as humdrum as it was before. Call me if you ever find need of my heroic aid again, okay? Uh, I just wish you could fight alongside me, my little Rue friend. You get the feeling these requests will be your best hope of gathering information. Maybe taking jobs from a corrupt prison guard isn't so bad after all. This is going to be interesting where this is going, you know? Two adults. Sorry for the wait, here you are. East Wing patrol map received. You really got it. You're really Amazing. something. Just take it, praise and gratitude weren't part of your payment. I fulfilled what you asked of me, that's all there is to it. Straight to business. Well, at least we can go rescue that girl now. Let's head back and set up a plan with Parks. We return to Parks to discuss the rescue plan with the rest of the Dandelion staff. You would need a way into the central wing where the prisoner was being held. After evaluating many entry routes, you decided that the east wing route through Cloaca Maxima would be the safest. Will Hawk be joining us though? I have high confidence in our abilities, but a human couldn't use this route. This rescue mission can only be executed by monstrums. Furthermore, we must distribute misinformation to divert the intention of the guards. Before launching the mission, ensure that you are adequately prepared. Speak to me when you're ready. Got it. Alright, let's, let's just save first and then we'll... Still no sign of Hawk. We'll do that side quest. Okay, let's go. Are you ready to start the rescue mission? I'm ready to begin. Good, let's gather the others. This girl's depending on you, Adol. Please, free her. You can leave it to us. With that, the rescue mission was underway. The other staff members of the Dandelion proceed to spread false rumors about the monstrums to mislead the guards and knights. Meanwhile, the monstrums began their infiltration mission into the prison again. I hope Hawk comes along. Ah, no, it's really just... You there, what are you up to? Eek! Oh yeah, Hawk is coming along. Just kidding. Credo, don't scare me like that. Is this part of your nightly duties? <laughs> well, aren't you on top of the ball? But yeah, I got roped into investigating the thefts. Orders from wrong. Sounds like a drag, so I was just giving off till I saw you guys link in here. Sneaking into the prison sounds a lot more like my kind of fun, so count me in. <laughs> Wait, does Master Chatelard not know about you being a monstrum, Credo? Why would he? With where I'm stationed in the chapter house, I barely even get a glimpse of the guy. Besides, it's not like he'd ever catch on to some low-ranking flunky like myself. Why you asking? No reason, it's just kind of a wonder you even got into the nights in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Ha, well, you might have a point. I do? Forget it, not like it matters either way. I can kill some time here and get back before anyone catches on. Till then, I guess you two are just gonna have to be stuck with me. 
But yeah, how does Shadow Lord not know? Alright, we made it in safely. Step one of the plan is to head to the spiral staircase at the south of the second floor. There should be a way to run up to the roof from there. And once we're on the, on top, we can fly to the central wing and nab our soon-to-be runaway. This plan pretty much riding on us monsters 100%, huh? Well, whatever. Let's get let's go rescue this chick already. All right, what... we're in. Yeah, it wasn't really that hard. I thought we were gonna go and actually have to, um, you know, work our way back here. Because I need, I still need to go back to Cloaca Maxima to get the remaining treasures it looks there. Like there's a way up to the roof near the stairs on the south side. <laughs> It's up. Look up. Um, it should be around here. Look up. There you go. Oh, found it! According to the intel, there used to be a ladder here that led to a lookout post. They ended up removing it so the prisoners couldn't use it to escape. The cover rot rotted over time. Off over time. Guess no one could have been asked to fix- Asked? To fix it? We should be able to hightail it up with the pussycat's gift. Let's get to step in. Right, let's go. Because again, I don't think we can. Oh my gosh, I released the button too soon. I don't think we can actually. Oh shoot, we can actually um, explore the prison fully just yet. Oh, there we go. Piece of cake. We might be able to get to the top floor of the central tower from that ledge. Wait, why is there? A... Huh. Oh, it's a door. I was... I'm just... The enemy crafter central wing is a given... Yeah, I know, I was just looking around. <laughs> One lone god. Good grief, what's the warden planning, planning on coming back anyway? Surprised he'd even bother taking the time to talk to this kid. What with how busy he is. What the? <laughs> he didn't even have time to properly react. Not bad, your majesty. Yeah, that was amazing. According to Parks, the inmate we're looking for should be in this reception room. Sounds like Belger was planning on stopping by for a visit. Wonder what kind of business he's got with the likes of some common jailbird. Who can say, but it doesn't seem like he's on his way just yet. Let's rescue her while we can. I wonder who we'll be rescuing. Nobody's here. There's no one here. What? Ah, whoop. <laughs> I missed. Who are you, people? You get lost on your way to a costume party? Just when I thought I had the warden too. Last thing I need is the guards catching on. Thank you for let for getting in the way of my scheme. How about you go die in a hole or something? What's up with this girl? Get a load of little Miss Problem Child over here. What do you think you're gonna do? Play mystical chairs with him and run off? There's no one else in here, so she must be the prisoner we're looking for. But how did the little how did the girl this young get locked up in prison? Uh, why are you being held here? I don't think we should ask if she's lost because she's not. Why? You people don't know who I am, do you? I take it nobody outside has heard any rumors about me then. Wait, is she the diplomat? About... Oh, assassin. She's an assassin. What? This little girl is, assa is, is an assassin? About the assassin who failed to snuff out her mark. I'm Iris. I discarded everything I have except this name. Really, everyone here is so dr Let dramatic. Let me warning to you, dummies. The Governor General of Galia, Cardinal Linheim, 
will die by my hand. He is missing, Get though. My way, and you will feel my wrath. Huh, that's a lot of bloodlust for such a little peep squeak. Gotta vent it out somehow, right? <laughs> Maybe they would say a fight to the death? What? Why does it have come... Why does it have to come to that? Besides, isn't Cardinal Lindheim missing right now? Uh, no one's seen him for some time. So they have yet to find him, I take it. I laid in wait for him after infiltrating the Governor General's, but he never came. Just when, where did that idiot bozo of a cardinal vanish off to? Wait, so you didn't actually do anything? Sounds like they had you in chains before you even got the chance to off the guy. You're one lame assassin if chair throws and screaming fits are the best you got. Hawk, you're being rude and you're being, you know, blunt. Really, really blunt. You really thought it'd get you past Belger? All I see is a stupid plan from a stupid kid. Really? Shut up, shut up, shut up! My vengeance will never end. Not until I find that Linheim and put him to the knife. But that day will never come if I stay locked up in here forever. This is all the fault of those moronic monsters. Why is it their fault? How am I supposed to find Linheim if all anyone ever talks about is them? That settles it. If I see them, I bump them off just the same as Lin They're right behind you, Iris. Oh yeah, I'm sure you... I, I sure would like to see you try. Hawk, give it a rest already. Um, I'll be honest, I've got a lot of reservations about this. Should we really rescue this girl? I mean, she called herself an assassin. Even if she was unjustly imprisoned, she technically did still attempt a murder. It, well, she said vengeance, so... What is, he, what, she, what is she trying to avenge exactly? Uh, we can't just leave her in here. You're right, she'll just think up an even more ridiculous escape plan. Worst case scenario, we should be able to stop her if she tries anything else. Also, we did promise Parks that we would rescue her. You ask Iris if she would be willing to come back with you to your hideout. Hideout? Yes, there's this bar where we have some uh, special arrangements with. You wouldn't be the first runaway hiding there and we get in all sorts of rumors. Huh, a tempting offer. I might hear something about Lindheim that way. My mission is at a standstill in here and the food sucks so bad that I'm, bad I'm this close to losing it. Haven't you already? In all honesty, this is pretty ideal for me, so fine, I will go to your little hideout. Thank goodness. Uh, we should leave yeah. before Belger shows. By the way, who are you people exactly? I doubt, that, I doubt they would send in a circus act just to keep me busy, much as you look like one. Uh, should we tell her? Oh, you'll figure it out soon enough. What do you think you're doing? Did you just... she, he's manhandling her, isn't she? Uh, isn't he? Sorry in advance, this might be kind of a bumpy ride. You'd better hang on tight, Pip Squeak. <laughs> Screaming! Scream for your life, Iris! Those scumbags! I'm gonna tear those monsters a new one if it's the last thing I do. It was pretty hard, wasn't it? How about you enjoy some tea instead, Iris? We serve this butter roll at the bar, still hot out of the oven. Look, doesn't it smell good? Trying to placate her, aren't you, Yufa? Just leave it there. Would you look at that? Yufa seems to be handling things just fine. You all did a splendid job finding her and bringing her here. Uh, how do you know her? I don't know her actually, at least not directly. It's a rather delicate situation. It may be best to save the question for later. I feel like... You know, if there's going to be a civil war brewing, or if there is a civil war brewing, that Parks has something to do with it as well, and he's, like, trying to rescue key figures in whatever is gonna happen. You know, this big event that's brewing behind the scenes, behind everything the Monstrums are doing, behind the Monstrum knocks, behind the, you know, the, uh, what do you call this? The Vortices. There's something else going on in Balduke, and I feel like Parks is 
like really gathering up the players here in the Dandelion. The atrocities she must have witnessed to be so hell-bent on revenge. My objective was to save her from a bloodstained future before it was too late. But it appears it will still be some time before she'll open her heart again. Now all we can do now is show her we're friends and wait patiently. Whatever you say, Parks. 2,500 gold received. You gain a new ally, Iris. Iris will now assist you in the Grimbald Nooks. We got ourselves another Miasma Vortex. What was that? We got ourselves another Miasma Vortex. We can Ready to go out and play? work on. So we'll do that. But first, let me just check to see if there are any more side quests. Yeah, there, this is the last one we need to do, but... Oh, Hawk has officially joined us, so we can actually complete this. Okay. Well, talking to I Iris first, then we'll complete the final uh, request that we got. What is the deal with this maid? Why is she wearing that creepy mask? And this old man is equally bizarre. Hmm, I should have expected this from the Monstrum's hideout. Freaks beget freaks. Well, that, what does that make you then? You're in our hideout as well, Iris. Wait, where am I going? Ew, let's talk to Credo. Hey. You tried to hightail it after seeing me, didn't you? Rookie mistake, pal. Only draws, draws attention to yourself. Damn, what's a hieroglyph knight doing here? So what are you gonna do, arrest me? Relax, I'm a merciful guy. Buy me a few bottles of booze and I might be inclined to look the other way. <laughs> Wait, really? What kind of hieroglyph knight, knight are you? The monstrum kind. Still, I guess I'll take it. Quit loitering and get yourself a drink. There ain't anywhere else in town you can get a fix as good as here. Okay. Let's go... Oh, wait. Let's go and make this. Hey, adult. If we can. It be? There we go. Two. Thanks a bunch. Anything else I can come back soon? Then let's head. Oh wow. This is the first boss, right? Here we go. Awesome finish. You have subdued Damar Tudos. Alright. I think we'll leave now. You have to find, um... Perlis. Where is she? Right here. Okay. Let's just... Let's just, you know, teleport then because it, it's a pretty long walk. And time is of the essence. Alright, there we go. At the top of the world. Where's Aprilis? Okay. Am I facing the right way? I feel like... Okay, where's the mountain again? There's the mountain. So Adel is right there. There or there? Eh. <laughs> There you are, is... Aprilis. Ah, you are. Monstrums. Even Hawk has decided to join you. And what's it to you? Oh, Aprilis, this is where you were. From here, I can see the entire city. I can watch for the emergence of the Lemmies. <laughs> I see. I don't know what else I expected. Have you all been checking the bulletin board? Oh, do you mean your request? We went and dealt with the monsters you asked us to defeat. Impressive. I would like to hear a report about later. Despite your efforts, I still sense the presence of powerful monsters. I may ask you to take up arms once again. Uh, we can't ignore this. 
Yes, if Apollos is worried about these monsters, then they must be really strong. Somebody might get hurt if we don't do anything. <laughs> Count me in. You had me at powerful monsters. Hawk really has one a one-track mind. Good luck, all of you. That's it? Ask about the subjugation. Okay, there we go. Report. How did it go? Oh, job well done. Oh, I thank you. Here's thank you very one. much. Fool's gloves. This will save me quite a bit of time. You have my gratitude for your efforts. I'm just happy we could help. There we go. I think that's all of the requests we can do right now. All right, first off, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you like the content of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know and share this video to your friends, your family, and everyone you think would enjoy it. And if you haven't, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and become part of the Dreamer Tribe. And if you've already subscribed and you want to get notified whenever new videos come out, then just click on that bell icon and you'll get notifications whenever new videos are posted here on this channel and that's about it again hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and i'll see you all in the next video until then you guys know the drill dream on lie on bye bye now